Hi, Phoenix Song here. I've got my new circuit here and my Launchpad Pro with the custom firmware that I'm working on. Um, this first screen here is just a demo screen for a bunch of visual effects. Uh, I've got a, there's a few notes in there, but mainly non-musical. And it's a, um, you know, there's a particle system on top of a base grid layer so that you can animate uh, little particles going on the pads without having to manipulate the underlying uh, colors and, and functions that are on the grid below it. So um, I was really excited about the circuit I just recently got and so I built something into the custom firmware for it. So here's a use case for you. So since they made the, um, the preview of the pads here you can do something approximating finger drumming style, but you know, you're going to interrupt things as you hit other notes. So say you have a long 808 kick, you're going to cut that off as soon as you hit the next thing, which may be desirable for uh, some uh, recordings because you can uh, cancel that long decay. But say you want to have that, it's just not going to give you that long decay and there's a bunch of other examples for any long-running samples. So what I've developed here is this mode here. If you go and hit setup and then hit the yellow button down in the corner here, you go to this mode, which is the beginning of what I call circuit pad. And so this gives you the ability through some fun MIDI wizardry uh, to um, do a little bit better finger drumming on the circuit with this Launchpad Pro. So, You can even record that and it will record uh, that uh, pattern without the interrupts happening for you. Uh, it will be a little bit messy where those tracks end up because of the way uh, everything works out. Another feature I've added is uh, these buttons over here. If you turn them off like that, um, say drum track 3 will now not go through the cycle of um, drum triggers to pull from because what it's actually doing here is it's going round and round from one, two, three, four to get the drum polyphony we need to do the finger drumming. So say we have a beat like uh, this one here. Let's go to this. Um, yes. So that's uh, hi-hats on track three, so we don't want to mess with that. So I turn that off there, and now we can still do beats without messing with the tick, tick, tick. So there you have it. It's a great feature, and I'm um, thinking of expanding this, which I call circuit pad, to have some melodic modes so that you can play synth one and two all on one screen. Maybe if it's smaller, you can have one row or two rows for synth one, two rows for synth two, and then half the drums in this sort of finger drumming style. So let me know what you think in the comments, if there's any feature requests, uh, if they're reasonable, I could also get to them and add them to this open source firmware for you. Thanks, and if you like this type of uh, stuff, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon so I can um, put more momentum and steam into making new features for the open source or Digipad. Thank you.